This is an 1800 watt LED array that puts out 216,000 lumens of light. It can illuminate things several miles in the distance. The mountains seen here are 2.4 miles or 3.9 kilometers away from the truck. But believe it or not, this actually isn't the world's brightest truck. This is. It's a custom build consisting of a 1960s Ford F100 body attached to a Dodge Cummins diesel frame and drivetrain. On top, it has 40 100 watt LED emitters that put out 480,000 lumens of light and consume over 5.3 kilowatts of power after inefficiencies. Each emitter has a convex glass lens that creates a 60 degree beam, which is a bit too wide for mounting on the top of a vehicle because the hood and anything close to the truck ends up being so bright that it's difficult to see past. I couldn't fit 40 parabolic reflectors on the LED modules because they are mounted too close together. That's why I decided to make the 1800 watt array instead, where each LED emitter has its own parabolic reflector. This creates a much narrower beam, which is better for long distance throw. So even though the 1800 watt array technically doesn't put out as much light, it's seemingly much brighter and definitely more practical. It's made up of 18 100 watt LED modules, each consisting of an LED emitter, a parabolic reflector, a heatsink, a cooling fan, and a driver circuit board. The array is attached with four suction cups, so it can easily be installed on different cars. It is possible to run these drivers off of 12 volts, but such low voltage would result in a huge current draw, so I'm running it off of a bank of 6 cell LiPo batteries that are slowly charged off the car battery at 10 amps. Here's a brightness comparison of stock Toyota Tacoma low beams versus high beams versus the 1800 watt array. Here's another comparison to a normal 52 inch 300 watt McTunin cheapo off-roading light bar. It's pretty funny that even one 100 watt module is brighter than the entire McTuning light bar, let alone 18 100 watt modules. To get a better idea of how bright this light is from afar, I mounted it on a hillside about 1300 feet or 400 meters away from where I was going to be filming. There was a lot of light pollution from the surrounding area, but the light was still significantly bright. I was switching the light on and off remotely with an RC plane radio. A lot of people will think that these are the same LED emitters that you can get on eBay or Amazon for a few bucks, but they're really quite a bit brighter and more efficient. They use 45mm LED chips. 45 mil refers to the actual size of the individual 1 watt chips that make up the 100 watt emitter array. The cheaper emitters use little tiny chips that can't actually pull the amount of power that they're rated for. As of the date this video was made, I can't find any brighter vehicles anywhere on the internet, so I'm claiming world's brightest truck title. Check out the links in the description for more info on the parts I used to build these lights.